Qshift is a new way to apply live offset style effects in Quickshow and beyond in this new 5.5 release. This tool utilizes the Live Control tab effect to create an oscillating style AB effect and applies these effects to different zones with different accelerations and time delays. This can be controlled live utilizing an XY style pad interface, where the effect intensity is controlled by the Y axis and the offset delay and direction is controlled by the X axis. Qshift is designed as a live effect tool and not a timeline tool and can only be used in the grid area of Quickshow and related output. On the Live Control tab, Next to the global, Q, and zone options, you will now see an A and B button. These are your new start and finish selections for your Q-Shift effects. Let's start by selecting the first pad and highlighting it. By default, this is a size-based effect. Let's now click on the A button to see the start setting. Here you can see that the size is set to zero as the start position. And if we click on the B button, we will see that the size is set to max. When we apply the effect, you'll see this zoom from zero to full happen along the zones. When switching between pads, the A and B buttons on the live control will adjust to be the settings of the current pad. This is how you can both build and live adjust your Q-Shift effects. In addition, because of how we have implemented the Q-Shift feature, we are also able to use the Q-Shift in conjunction with the main effects engine and even the quick effects tab if so desired. Now let's look at the adjustments and settings we can change in each of the pad properties. Select the pad you would like to adjust. Then, click the Properties button here to open up the Pad Properties window. The General tab has a couple options, including name and color of the pad. You can select if you would like a 2D pad or just a 1D pad. A 1D pad only gives you the effect intensity, whereas a 2D pad also allows you to pick an offset direction and amount. You can also select the Move Action to Mouse Down position. This will instantly move the offset effect to the position on the pad clicked, which can be useful on touchscreens or for quick changes. You can disable this to make it so that the position can only be moved across the plane and not jump. This may be more reliable for consistent changes. Moving on to the next tab, the Shifts and Waves tab is where most of the real offset properties will be. The first option is for Tempo. This is where you will select the total beats of the flow. In this case, 4 over 4 is a good option for one loop per beat, and 4 over 1 is a good option for one bar. This is measured in bars due to how the timing will work with the delay percentage. All Qshift effects utilize the global BPM. The next options we have to pick from is period shift per item in percentage or period shift per selection in percentage. Period shift per item will be the percentage in which how much each zone is offset from each other. In this case, 25% would mean the offset will happen over four selected zones, and then that would be the offset loop. Conversely, period shift per selection is the percentage in which how much each offset is applied over the entire zone selection. If you only want to see your lasers visibly doing half of the effect at once, you would choose 50%. If you wanted your lasers to have the loop twice at once, it would be 200% and so on. Next, we have the div and mod values. Div is basically a group selection. With this set to 0 or 1, every single zone will be seen as an individual item to get time offsets. If the value is 2, every two zones will be seen as a single offset item for the effect. 4 would be a 4 at a time and so on. Mod value is a total step selection. This means that it will divide your selections as evenly as possible to achieve whatever number of steps the mod value is set to. If you have 20 lasers and you want pairs, make the value 10. If you wanted quads, then make it 5. Below the div and mod values, you have access to the waveform for the effect you have set. Here you will find all your expected and common waveform types, as well as a few new ones we've added to help with Qshift. There are many to choose from. You can also choose to invert the waveform with this checkbox, or change the waveform width to add space between your effects, so not all lasers are being affected all the time. Finally, we have the Destination tab. The order in which Qshift effect is applied is determined by the order in which the zones are selected. If there are no zones specified in the pad properties, the effect will default to the zone order in the destination settings of the selected queue or by manual selection. However, if you would like to create a specific selection order, or only affect some zones while leaving others alone, you can set zones to specifically be selected for the effect. You should utilize selections here to apply Q-Shift offset effects in a symmetrical direction. Consider this zone setup with 8 lasers up. Let's select outside in. 1 and 8 are our outside zones and should be set first, then would be 2 and 7, and so on. 
In the end, this destination list should look something like this. Now when we go back to the Shifts and Waves tab, we can change our mod value back to zero and our div value to either two or four. This will create symmetrical groupings to create inside out or outside in effects. Order matters for these effects. With the destination being selectable per Q shift pad, you can have some symmetrical, some straight, and whatever you'd like. Thanks for watching this quick hints video on the new QShift Quick Tool Tab Effects Engine. If you still have questions or need help, feel free to email support at pangolin.com or check the wiki at wiki.pangolin.com for a full written document on QShift.